Service members of Reddit. What is your worst military wife story? Story 1. I am a military spouse, but worked as a DOD employee with the Marines. Got a call that a military spouse was in the hospital, her place on base housing had gotten broken into, the nine-month pregnant spouse was her word and beaten and taken by ambulance to the hospital. The assault caused a miscarriage. I was devastated and went to the hospital with several officers in the Marines chain of command. One of the nurses tending her looked me in the eye and said, I am very interested in how this is going to play out. I was so confused. The nine-month pregnant our word and assault victim was given an ultrasound and blood work performed upon being admitted to the hospital. She hadn't been pregnant. She wasn't our word. Her due date was the next day and she's been faking the pregnancy the whole time. She beat herself up and carved herself up with a knife then made up the R word story resulting in miscarriage as a way to cover up the nine months of lying to her husband about being pregnant. I've never seen this level of crazy until three months later, when said Marine reunited with batshit crazy girl even after all that. Story 2. Standing Gate Guard in Washington, D.C. Officer's wife drives through the gate and presents her ID. I wave her through. She doesn't move, asking me if I forgot something. I said no, I didn't believe I did. She said I forgot to salute her, pointing to the blue sticker on her windshield. I leaned close to her windshield and saluted the sticker, wishing it a good afternoon. I got removed from that duty. Story 3. I was stationed at Foot Knox Kai in the late 80s. A soldier's child turned up missing. Damn near, near every solid around Foot Knox was looking for this kid. We looked for days. Kid never turns up. I leave and move on. Several years later I'm sent back to Foot Knox. Out of the blue, a bunch of activity is happening at a park several miles away. The little girl turned up, some of her anyway, and it turns out that the soldier's wife, the girl's stepmom, killed the girl. The soldier came home found out and hid the body in the park. The whole case was solved because the older sister of the girl was starting to get worried she was next told a teacher who got the police involved. That the worst I've heard of, over 20 plus years in the army. Plenty of cheating, plenty of other stuff. Story 4. Saw a newer airman with no belt on. I asked why don't you have a belt? He said he can't afford one so I give him five dollars and tell him to go get a belt. A few weeks later I see him at Ruby Tuesday cleaning tables. I ask around and apparently his wife was growing weed in base housing and he got kicked out of the military. He swore he didn't know, know what she was doing. Story 5. I got accosted by a Dependa at a Home Depot parking lot because I parked in her space. I parked in a veteran spot at Home Depot. I am a veteran, I had my two toddlers with me, and the spot was next to a cart stall. As I am pulling my kids out of the car, this lady walks up to me and starts asking me questions. Simple stuff, but nothing out of the ordinary, but I leave my kids in the car to be safe. She then starts asking about my veteran status, which was weird, but not bad. I told her I'm an SGT in the 123 Trans Brigade, not real, part of the Natty Guard, while my husband's a lieutenant call, which means he's a higher rank, she said. Well if he's a commissioned officer, he's already a higher rank, I said. So you should give me your spot. I was dumbfounded, WTF. I told her to pound sand, to which she wanted my info, rank, name etc. So I said yeah sure, and I'll make sure to give you the spot next time, no shit three days later, I get a call from my NCOIC. Hey SGT stuck in post, do you know what LTC ass face? To which no, I don't. Okay, I got a LTC in my office looking for you, said it's important, alright, my NCOIC puts me on speakerphone. Hey Sart, this is LTC Assface, I wanted to apologize for my spouse's behavior the other day. I jokingly told her she could parade up and down the street ordering other soldiers to do things, and I had no idea she would take it literally. I'm sorry this happened and I hope we can put this behind us. I accepted his apology, because up to this point, no CO has ever apologized for their actions. Chillest. LTC. Ever.
Story 6 Similar story, a friend and me are in checkout line at the commissary when a lady just steps in front of us. We give her the benefit of the doubt and my friend taps her on the shoulder and tells her the line starts back there. She informs us that her husband is a captain and that she is in a hurry and that since we are both just airmen, a 1CS, it's fine. There are probably another 7 or 8 people behind us as well and an older lady who was behind us asked her her husband's name and stuff and why she had never seen her at the officer's wife club meetings but I guess are a thing. Then says she is the base commander's wife and it would really be in her best interest to just get in the back of the line and not pull this kind of thing again. She rolled her eyes and went to the back. Older lady asked our names and talked to us for a minute just about what we did at work and junk. The next day I had an email from the base commander about how sorry he was that one of his officers hadn't taught his spouse that she didn't hold his rank and that they had both been in his office that morning and assured me that line cutter lady was now fully informed of the actual privileges of being an officer's wife. Base commander's wife had big D energy for days too. Story 7 A friend of mine came home one day early from a year-long deployment. Wife was busy bucking another guy on the couch. In the bedroom was a baby she had never mentioned, fathered by yet a third guy. Story 8 Oh, I'm gonna post some of my friend's highlights. She was the midwife on an Air Force base. Delivered lots of babies. Colonel brought his 16-year-old daughter in because she was pregnant. Turns out the father was a new junior enlisted. He did not last long in the military. Dude's wife left him and moved in with her boyfriend off base while he was deployed. She got knocked up. Since they were still married, she was still going to the base for medical care. Their divorce wasn't final by her due date, so she still got to go on base and deliver. Her soon-to-be ex-husband, the military guy, had his buddies in security forces put a security flag on his soon-to-be ex-wife's boyfriend. The boyfriend couldn't be on base for the birth of his child. And, always the favorite, babies coming out with the wrong ethnic background of the father was at least a once a year thing. Story 9 The issue is that people forget the military is filled with 18 to 20 year old boys, many of whom I am of lack relationship experience, and marry the first girl who gives them attention. Story 10 Posting on behalf of my husband. Worst, they came back from a 15 month tour in Iraq. His platoon sergeant went home to find another man living in his house, with his wife and kids. His kids, toddlers, were calling the guy daddy. When he walked in his wife basically said yeah. I want a divorce. I'm with him now. Worst part was the platoon sergeant and new daddy, kinda, worked together asterisk, but was one of the few who stayed behind for clerical stuff while the rest deployed. Asterisk yes, I know this is absolutely against the rules. This was when shit was the Wild West and a DUI was an unofficial requirement for E6. ETA, I asked my husband what happened after this. He doesn't know what happened to Jody aka deployment replacement daddy. The husband threatened to take the kids and kick her onto the street, which he definitely had grounds to do. Instead, she agreed to on-demand SX and threesomes, including summoning a prostitute if he wanted one and helping him keep it on the DL. If you made it this far please consider pressing the subscribe and like button. Now continue to the video. Story 11 While delivering our fourth baby at a military hospital we were talking to one of the nurses about infidelity and crazy things she had witnessed. She told us about a woman coming in with her husband for a C-section that was not scheduled. The woman insisted that she was scheduled for a C-section that day. They did an ultrasound and found that she was three months pregnant, not nine months pregnant. She was willing to deliver a baby six months early so it would appear the conception lined up with her husband's mid-tour leave. Story 12 Oh man so many. One friend in the Corps, a first-term sergeant who hated every minute he was in uniform. He re-enlisted so she could go to school. Left for deployment after re-enlistment, came back to a divorce and a drained bank account. Had another sergeant who met his wife while he and like seven other guys were running a gangbang on her. He decided he needed to marry her. So many shit stories there, but I mean he probably deserved them. Cause I mean wow. Story 13 
One evening, while I was on staff duty, my then wife decided that I was cheating on her and not, in fact, at work. I was totally at work, nor had I ever cheated on her. So she texts me and says, I'm going to go to the barracks and buck the first soldier I see. I was so checked out of the relationship at this point, I was just waiting to get out to leave her, so I didn't bother responding. She showed up at the barracks and got turned away by CQ because she used her dependent ID to try to check into the barracks and couldn't tell them who she was there to visit. Story 14 A guy in my shop, Air Force, deployed to Iraq for 4.5 months. Before he left he signed over general power of attorney to his wife. While he was gone, she started bucking another guy in our shop, then signed the divorce paperwork as his power of attorney and his rights to see his kids, as well as draining his bank account. She went to live with the other guy in my shop and his friend off base. They were both arrested for check fraud when trying to pass off a check that was the roommates in the Chapet on base. The guy she divorced eventually got full custody of the kids and the other guy in my shop got kicked out of the AF. There were other stories of cheating and all of that kind of shit, but this one takes the cake, she actively worked to ruin his life when all he did was love his kids and get deployed to Iraq. Don't give anyone general power of attorney, ever. I don't care how much you trust them or how much you think they love you. Don't do it. You can give them specialized power of attorney that only allows them to handle your affairs that you very specifically need them to handle. Story 15 our neighbors, too, brought us some stories. 1. Unit deployed and she met a new guy. Used power of attorney to divorce the husband overseas and married the new guy so quick she was able to stay on base in the same house. First husband came home and ended up being in the same platoon as second husband who now lived in his house with his kids and all his belongings. 2. When we first moved in on base we had a neighbor that was super friendly. Wife told us she had cancer so her brother was staying with her to take care of her. We think nothing of it. A few months later they moved out to live off base. Normal thing so no reason to be skeptical. Fast forward a few months and I'm shoveling the driveway and a guy from next door comes over to say hi. I say hi and welcome him as a new neighbor. He's not a new neighbor, he's had that house for a couple years. I got confused and asked about the woman who had moved out recently. He told me that woman was his wife, the brother was her lover, she didn't have cancer, cancer, and she spent all his money on Farmville then moved out with everything they owned. Story 16 I have two. First, I was the witness to one of my soldiers wedding. It was a typical Joe wedding in that it took place midday, at a wings in things, during the lucky bride's lunch break. The mother of the bride owned said wings end things but refused to attend the ceremony despite being at work that day. It was pretty amazing. Second, I was at officer candidate school with an army hot blonde. She was a deployment September 10th and everybody hit on her. She was drowning in attention but it was all for naught because she was married to a green beret or something. Well, all that attention finally got to her and she started sleeping with the cadets. It got to the point of her and another married female getting nailed in a hotel room at the same time and they reportedly high-fived mid-coitus. About three quarters of the way through the course she started to put on a little weight and it sure seemed like her belly was growing faster than the rest of her. About four weeks before graduation it came out that she was, in fact, pregnant with who the buck knows baby. Not long after graduation I heard that her marriage to Mr. SF did not survive the encounter. Story 17 Dude in my platoon's wife falsely accused her ex-MP boyfriend of our word. Went as far as stabbing a mattress and swallowing condom to set him up. Dude spends weeks in jail before being cleared of all charges. When it comes to light it was crazy lady vindictive bullshit she amped up the crazy. She handed her friend her and my platoon mate's baby through a window at night while they watched a movie. Platoon mate went to check on the baby and it was missing prompted the first Amber Alert in Alaska history. She tried to pin it on the MP as some sort of act of vengeance. I can only imagine what the poor dude was thinking when the cops came to him with this. He was very quickly eliminated as subject, subject, and they figured out that the baby was safe rather quickly. Story 18. Hope this counts. My grandfather was stationed in Germany where he met my grandmother. 
They got married in Germany and she moved back to the States with him, where his family was absolutely not very happy about it. His mother actually offered to buy him a brand new car if she married a nice American woman instead. Obviously, my grandma wasn't too happy about that and decided the best course of action was to have a second wedding in the US to prove she wasn't going anywhere. They were married 55 years and she's still living in the original family home, she really didn't go anywhere. Story 19 Long story short, someone, A, in my unit walked in on his wife cheating on him with someone else, B, from our unit. They separate, she moves in with B, and leaves the unit. Eight months later. We return from a deployment, and it goes on one date with a girl, his ex-wife finds out and calls the 1STSGT. A gets charged with adultery and reduced in rank while B only got switched to a different unit. Story 20. My brother-in-law was on both sides of shitty cheating stories. He married a woman he chatted to online for a few weeks when he was 19. Then he had to go to Iraq. A month after he left she told him that he got her pregnant. He comes home after six months then she has the baby, the baby definitely is not his. Fast forward 10 years. He's married to an awesome chick we all like. She works a job and takes care of everything around the house. He cheats on her with a 18-year-old girl that worked at Sonic. She catches him and leaves for a weekend to go stay with her sister to figure out what to do. He puts all her stuff in cardboard boxes out under the carport and moves in the new girl. Story 21 Long story, TL, DR got tricked, married an already married woman, lost everything. So I was assigned to Pensacola NAS for some training. I wasn't going to be there long and shouldn't have dated. 21-year-old me was stupid. I met a girl off base and we started to date. She loved that I was in the military while constantly saying she didn't like military guys, should have been a red flag. She literally pretended to be the perfect girlfriend. Whatever hobby, I mentioned she said OMG, I'm into that too. She did everything possible to act like we were a perfect match. She even said she worked as a FEMA office manager when I told her I joined because I like to help people. Four months goes by and I get orders to Canon AFB in New Mexico. I mentioned that I have to go soon, she knew I was just there temporarily, and she starts hinting at wanting to go with me. Thinking I'm in a really good relationship I agree. We get to New Mexico and I rent us a place. I was actually supposed to live on base in dorms for about a year until I ranked up to senior airman. Things between us go downhill immediately after moving into our place. She suddenly didn't enjoy doing anything I did and had a really bad attitude. He said it was just nerves from moving so far. Fast forward two months and I'm getting bitched out by my captain for living off base without authorization. I explained my situation and he said to send her back or get married. Yup, you guessed it. Got married. We were married for nine years. She was a miserable cunt the whole time. Refused to get a job, so I had to 100% support her. Turns out she really couldn't get a job because she just had a GED and her only work experience as as a receptionist for maintenance at a trailer park. She lied about the FEMA job. Right before our 9-year mark she begs me to get out of the military so we can move back to Florida. Her grandmother died and she said we had to take care of her grandfather. Stupidly, I did it. We get to Florida and her grandfather is fine. We only saw him a handful of times over the course of two years. Eventually I catch on that she's been cheating on me and I throw her crap out of my house and she moves in with her boyfriend. Apparently she wanted to go back to Florida because there were some guys there she wanted to hook up with. When I met her she was 140 and blew up to 350 within two years if us being together, so I really had no interest in her Suli, plus she was a bitch. It irritated divorce and she wouldn't cooperate. She kept breaking into my house with her boyfriend and looting my place. I'd bring home groceries and they'd be gone the next time I left the house. Cops wouldn't do anything because we were married and same with landlord. I decided to move and she caught wind. I'm at school and she clears my house out. I go to her place to confront her and she calls the cops. 
I get accused if burglary and battery and the police believe her because the sociopath can cry on command. I end up getting a plea deal to withhold adjudication of a felony and three years of probation. My lawyer convinced me to take it. During the process I find out she was never legally married to me. She was, and still is, married to a career criminal up in Michigan. She had me take care of her for nearly a decade, while miserable the whole time, and she heavily utilized her medical benefits from being a military dependent, she was never actually my legal wife. My PO felt bad and I was able to get off my probation at a year and five months. Charges were lessened so they could be sealed and eventually expunged. She literally has suffered zero consequences for what is basically bigamy with fraud, a class felony. Florida won't help because they said New Mexico has jurisdiction. New Mexico won't do anything because she is out of state. Story 22. Air Force and Navy veteran here and I'm a Marine wife. The worst thing I ever experienced was the death of a beautiful five-month-old baby girl. The SGT and his wife were serious gamers. The wife also suffered from mental health issues. Both were weird and ignorant. The wife was tired of the baby crying and not sleeping. So, she propped a bottle on a pillow, used more pillows to cushion her, and left her in the master bedroom while she and the hubby gained. The little girl suffocated. Neither parent checked on her for 12 plus hours. They said they thought she was sleeping. They found her dead, left her for several more hours, and made a failed attempt to resuscitate her while they were on the phone with 911. They're so stupid, the police and EMS shared with me that rigor mortis had already set in and it looked as the baby had been dead for more than 24 hours. The parents went back to gaming because that wanted to finish their match or whatever. The mother showed zero remorse. However, she was completely fascinated with how popular she was becoming on social media. So much so, that she was super giddy with her local fame and said her kid dying was worth the fame and GoFundMe. The Marine was indifferent to the whole thing. This was one of my husband's Marines. We got the call to go to the family and bring them whatever they needed for temporary lodging. We had no idea what a shitshow we'd be walking into.